Boris, in my view, uh, took a very wise decision not to appear on the uh, the Talking Heads, uh, which uh, essentially led to a load of sound bites and a lack of substance from each and every one of them. He was very aware of the fact that he would have been criticised, as you are now criticising all all the people who attended, that they weren't able to say anything. I was just defending them. I I was just defending Michael Gove from Claire's criticism and praising Rory Stewart. I haven't mentioned any of the others yet, Richard. I don't know what programme you've been listening to. Well, uh, Who have I criticised? Who have I criticised? First of all, I'd like your evidence. (laughs) Who have I criticised? Who have I criticised this morning? Whoa. Could you just calm down? I'm super uh, calm, question, my friend. Who have I criticised this morning you know, from last night's debate? When you're calm, you don't talk over people. <laughs> so as I, I'm trying to be calm with you. OK, mate. Right. So, so I'll ask uh, you James, again. I'm not talking over you. Who have I criticised? Where is your evidence that... Uh, Who have I criticised? Uh, uh, you criticised uh, Boris, Boris Johnson fan speaks. speaks. Yes, I criticised Boris Johnson for not being there. OK, tell me who I've criticised. Tell me who I've criticised, Mr Angry. <laughs> Stop talking over me, you rude man. Answer my question. Well, I will if you listen. Good. Who have I criticised? Two ears, one mouth. Who have I criticised? Oh, Richard, this is hilarious. Who have I criticised this morning? Listen. Oh, you're a clever man. You don't listen. Are you prepared to listen? Yes, I am. To you telling me who I've criticised this morning from last night's debate. Right. Be quiet for 15 seconds. Certainly not. As soon as you answer my question, you've come on here, you've said the reason he didn't do it was because he knew he'd get criticised like you've been criticising all of them this morning. I just want to know who you've heard me criticise. Where is your evidence that he was terrified? (laughs) He wasn't there, you prune! Uh, listen, prune face. Your... <laughs> so I haven't criticised anybody, and the man who didn't turn up was terrified. Richard, let me let me make a. a, a... I don't want to go out on a limb here, my friend. You you voted Brexit, right? And you like Boris Johnson? Yes or no? Well, you like you like. Oh, Marxism. he's off. Twenty nine minutes after ten. What a funny little fella. So the reason why I categorically haven't criticised any of the contenders in last night's candidate debate, and I I apologise. Apparently, I have to. Explain this again for the hard of thinking is because I didn't watch it. Therefore, the only person I can criticise is the person that was too frit to turn up. But if you are now so morally and intellectually compromised that you're pretending that not turning up is somehow a sign of anything other than cowardice, then you end up appearing on national radio and making a complete muppet of yourself. Richard, please ring me again. Seriously, I, I'm, I'm beginning to worry that there's not enough comedy on the programme during these difficult political times. In the meantime, On the bright side, your day can't get any worse. 